Hello, we want to find the value of x in this uh, expression. We want to find the value of x in this expression. So let's let's look at how this expression is defined. The expression is uh, the two x plus four roots of four is by x, you know, plus eight. I think yes, uh, is equals to the sixth root of one hundred twenty-eight. So now. How do we go about this? Let's recall. Let's recall something about uh, uh, indices. You know, in indices, if you have, um, let's say we have um, uh, A, the root of x raised to the power B. Yes, we have uh, the eighth root of x raised to the power B. Okay, in according to the law of indices, it will be what? x raised to the power B all over A. That's the way we write it. The, the a here will now be the, the denominator of the exponent of x. Okay, so we can use that method to solve this. Yes, so that means a is 2x plus 4, x is 4, and b is x plus 8. So moving on, we have this. Now we, are, we now write us write this as our x, like I said, now is 4, 4, you know, raised to power x plus 8 all over the one outside, 2x plus 4. I hope that is uh, understood. Okay, let me write it uh, so that you don't think it's 4 number. It's 4 raised power. So, uh -huh. yes, is equal to. You can also say that 6 here is the is a, 128 is x, then the b is 1. Okay. So that means we can write it as 128, you know, 1 all over 6. That is 1 6 root of 128. So now, if you look at this closely, you can, you can split this 4 into its index form. So 2 raised to the power 2, that is 4, beautiful. Then x plus 8 all over 2x plus 4 is equal to this. We can get the factors of 2 from here too. How many two do we get in 128? So if you find the LCM, just say 128, 2 here, 64, 2 here, 32, 2 in 32, 16, 16, 2 in 16, 8, 2 in 8, 4, 2 in 4, 2, and 2 in 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 2 raised to 7. We have 2 raised to 7 to give us 128. Okay? So that means this will not be what? 2 raised to power 7 all raised power 1 over 6. Yes. So what next? We can expand this. Because according to the law of music, if you have x raised power a raised power b, it can be expressed as x raised power a plus a b, rather a b. You are not adding. You are multiplying the powers. If it were x raised power a times x raised power b now, uh, this would be x raised power a plus b. Okay? But since you have this outside the bracket as an exponent you multiply. Okay, so using using that concept, using this concept, okay, we have this one will become okay. We are working on this two raised to power two into x plus eight all over two x plus four is equals to two raised to power seven over six. Yes. So expanding this, you have 2 raised to power 2x plus 16 all over 2x plus 4 is equal to 2 raised to power 7 over 6. Now remember, according to the law of indices, if you have uh, x raised to power a is equal to x raised to power b, remember, since the basis are the same, the exponent will be the same. This implies is a equals to b. Okay, that's according to the law of indices. So in this case now, let's continue here. So that we have enough space to work with. Mm -hmm. That means we can have... So, like I said, if x is by a is equal to x is by b, since the exponent x are the same, so a will be equal to b. So in this case now, the basis 2 will cancel out. So now I have what? 2x plus 16 all over... 2x plus 4 is equal to 7 over 
6. So the next thing is to cross multiply. Cross multiply. This gives, when you cross multiply, you have 6 into 2x plus 16 is equal to 7 into 2x plus 4. Okay? So, we have what? 12x plus 6 and 16, 96 is equal to 14x plus 7 times 4, that's 28. Okay? Now we collect like terms. By collecting like terms, by collecting like terms, we have, it's okay, let's clean this up. By collecting like terms, we have 12x minus 14x is equal to 28 minus 96, which we give minus 2x is equal to, this is what, minus 68, yes. Now, okay, that's correct. Minus here, we cancel minus there. So you have what, 2x equals to 68. Now, dividing both sides by 2, you have 2x all over 2 is equal to 68 all over 2. So 2, we cancel 2 out here. You have x is equal to 68 all over 2, which is what? 2 in 6, that's 3. 2 in 8, that's 4. So we have, the answer now what? x is equal to 34. So in this problem, our x is equal to 34. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumb up, comment, like, and share. Bye.